According to Metacomputics model, all concepts, perceptions and experiences are processing outputs of metacomputation system. In this part of the presentation, we will discuss the fundamental nature of time, space and multiverse under the proposed Metacomputics framework. We will attempt to clarify the following questions. What is time? Why is present moment special? What is the difference between past and future? Why doesn't time flow backwards? Why isn't space empty? What's the difference between each universe in the multiverse? This slide illustrates a section of metacomputation system grid described in part one of this presentation. The interconnected symbols A and B form a square wave of alternating pixels and voids. The resulting waveform can be likened to the clock signal used in electronic computers. Time is thus defined as one directional perpetual progression of the pixel square wave that completes one switching cycle in present moment. Present moment is a window from which perpetual progression of the pixel square wave from right to left is perceived. Future is represented by the parts of the pixel square wave that are moving towards but have not yet arrived at present moment. Past is represented by the parts of the pixel square wave that have moved away from present moment. Within present moment, outlined by the thick lines in the figure, each of the four cells completes a full switching cycle at every n to the minus n minus 1 unit. Present moment is the moment when switching and therefore computation takes place. There is a fundamental asymmetry between past, processed data, and future, unprocessed data. Due to computation irreversibility, time cannot flow backwards. The pixel square wave that defines time can be expressed as two rows of time bit strings of perfect regularity. 10101010101010101010101010101010101010101010101010101010101010101010101010101010101010101010101010101010101010101010101010101010101010101010101010101010101010101010101010101010101010101010101010101010101010101010101010101010101010101010101010101010101010101010101010101010101010101010101010101010101
These objects are constructed in space similar to the process of 3D printing using poxels as printing material. In Metacomputation System Grid, different n values can be used to create multiple metacomputation systems. It can thus be assumed that many levels of creation are in existence. Our physical universe is one of many parallel universes. At the top level, n equals 1. PM equals 1 unit. Clock speed equals 1 cycles per unit. At the middle level, n equals 4. PM equals 1 over 8 unit. Clock speed equals 8 cycles per unit. At the lower level, n equals 6. PM equals 132 unit. Clock speed equals 32 cycles per unit. A universe produced by the metacomputation system operating with a bigger n value is equipped with a more powerful processor and has more memory to accommodate larger quantities of data and programs. It therefore allows richer and more diverse perceptions and experiences. From the definition of present moment, PM, it is established that PM equals 2 to the minus n minus 1 unit. PM decreases with the increase of the n value. Suppose the physical universe is produced by the metacomputation system operating with a value NP. PM in the physical level of creation is of the value PMP. We call present moment at the level of creation that is M level higher than the physical universe level, PMM. Then PMM divided by PMP equals 2 to the M. PM at level M is 2 to the M times that of the physical level creation. Suppose PM equals 1 day, then 1 day M level time equals 2 to the m day physical level time. Each ms with a different n value operates at a different clock speed according to the formula. Clock speed equals 2 to the n minus 1 cycles per unit. It should be noted that the present moment at a higher level of creation encompasses past, present, future of the lower level creation. Theoretically, Planck time is the smallest meaningful unit of time in the physical universe. If we assume width of the pixel equals Planck time, time span of perceivable creation equals size of unity screen equals lifespan of the physical universe equals 13.8 plus 5 billion years, then we can derive that n equals 200. Practically, we can assume the clock speed of the MS that creates the physical universe is the maximum detectable frequency of electromagnetic waves in the physical universe. According to this model, all phenomena, including electromagnetic waves, are a processing output of the MS. Therefore, the frequency of the processing output cannot exceed the clock speed of the MS. In our physical universe, the highest measurable frequency of an electromagnetic wave is gamma ray radiation that is at least 10 to the 19 hertz. Then we can derive that n equals 119. Therefore the MS that constructs the physical universe has at least 4 to the 119 bits memory.